Hello. Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Firstly, I was amazed by your response to my video, things people say to recorder players, and we very quickly hit 1,000 subscribers! Yay! As a recorder player, often you feel quite lonely, but there are so many others out there, so keep spreading the recorder word. Today's video has been hugely requested, namely, recorder methods for adult beginners. I went to my favourite sheet music shop in Amsterdam, that's called Brugmans und von Poppel, and it's next to the Concertgebouw on Museum Plein, and I went and quickly realised that <laughs> are so many methods. I would have spent hundreds and hundreds of euros if I bought them all. But luckily the guys there were kind enough to let me go back and actually film my video in the shop showing their books. All of the books I show today are available to buy from the website of Brookman and Fun Popple. And yes, they do ship overseas. So without further ado, to Amsterdam! who works here, the guys here are so friendly and helpful. Hi Marco! Hello! <laughs> this isn't even all of them, but I picked out all of this to show you. There are people walking around the shop buying things, so I feel slightly self-conscious right now. So I quickly discovered that there are way too many methods for the alto recorder that are suitable for adult beginners to even go into. So I've made a bit of a selection. We're gonna start with my very favorite method and this is the one I actually use when I'm teaching adult beginners. And this is Daniel Helbach's Alt Blockflöten Reise, the alto recorder journey. It is in German, but don't worry, that doesn't actually matter that much. I don't even speak German. The thing I really like about these books, they come in three volumes and they come with a CD accompaniment. But the thing I love about these books is just the quality of the backing tracks. By the time you get to the third book, you're playing along with a real Baroque ensemble, with a string orchestra, with an Irish band. Um, it can really feel like you're really making music. The material in the first book begins quite simply, but it does assume that you already know something about music. So I would recommend this as a method for people who are maybe transferring from another instrument. The material in this one tends to be a bit more poppy. In the first book there's lots of world music and they really go deep into complex rhythms, a lot of syncopation. And the other thing I love about this book is their concentration on improvisation. Here we have a table of different keys and scales you can improvise in and on the CDs there are 15 backing tracks to improvise with in all different keys and I use these backing tracks actually with all of my students so I can really recommend this book for a kind of all-round musical experience. The next book I'm going to talk about is Fun and Games with the Alto Recorder, written by Gudrun Haynes and Gerhard Engel, and this, this was uh, translated into English by Peter Bowman. The thing I like about this is it's actually kind of suitable for all ages. It's got a few cartoons in it, but I don't think that um, excludes adults from playing it. What I like is that it concentrates on giving a really solid grounding in the alto recorder while still keeping up your soprano recorder skills. So if you're someone transferring to the alto from soprano, this is great for you. It has a lot of things in it like tonguing exercises, syncopation, but like in a fun way, thrills, improvising. So it's not only about le note learning, it's about everything around it. Oh, and the thing I also really like is that they include exercises for holding the recorder and balance. And when you're going to a larger instrument than you're used to, this can be really important for adapting. And they also include some more kind of contemporary techniques but with a nice build-up of how to actually get into it. And it also comes in two different volumes. <laughs> I've kind of lumped a whole load together here because I feel like they kind of all exist in a similar vein. Um, and some of them are classics, so we have... Uh, 
Giesbed. Keihard Brown Schule voor op alt blokfluiten. Leidraad tot het spelen van het alt blokfluit. Linde Hoffe van Winterveld. De nieuwe weg. Weg. What we have is a lot of explanation. It's quite dry. A lot of these are in German. So if you speak German, that's fantastic. And then they come with small musical examples, traditionally from either church music or early music. To be honest, I don't find them so inspiring. Um, but maybe that's because I'm a millennial and I like lots of fast pictures. I tend to find with these books that they give you a lot of information and material and they're quite good at building up the notes but almost none of them give any explanation about rhythm and quite quickly we have 16th notes, dotted, 8th note, all on page 4. So again these are good if you have experience from music and you like quite a lot of kind of dense material and I've heard a lot of you talking about the hue or record yeah, method. Yeah. I haven't been able to find that here, um, but I think it might be kind of the same style. If it's not, tell me please. Okay, it's in the same style, but I couldn't not mention the James Arden books. These were originally in English. I found them here in Dutch, obviously, because I'm in the Netherlands. But this is the Alto Recorder, the first lesson book, and it actually goes up to the fifth lesson book and this is really comprehensive. Again, we start with the E and it builds it up note by note. Again, there's not an explanation of rhythm, so if you have zero experience with music and no teacher, this probably isn't such a good one because I think rhythm is so important to be built up well from the first moment. And by the end of the first book, we're already getting into slurs, staccato, duets, uh, and the musical material tends to be church music, hymns, Christmas carols. And by the time we get into the fourth lesson book, we have whole pieces. So actually, this is quite a nice resource if you just want lots of pieces to play. I could recommend the James Arden fifth book as a good resource for kind of getting into more Baroque style playing. So we have tables of ornaments, information on double and triple tonguing, alternative fingerings for trills, and I couldn't be talking about this category without mentioning the Sweet Pipes Recorder book, a method for adults and older beginners. This is book two. I don't have book one here to show you, so um, I feel like I can't actually give a proper review of it because I don't know how they built it up, but they give you a lot of pieces and each piece is about two or three lines, so it's really manageable. So for example, in the first unit of book two, we learn high B flat, and then you have no less than 15 short pieces to practice with. This is really great. It gives you a lot of material. Ooh, and by the time we get to the end of the book, we have some Baroque duets and some neo-romanticism by Ernest Kramer, which is always a lot of fun to play. Again, I don't see any explanation of rhythm, of time signatures, or of key signatures. And we have some pieces in five flats, three sharps. I feel like if you're completely on your own, it doesn't give you so much support, but it gives you a lot of material. So if you have a teacher, this could be a really nice one to work with. Or if you already play a different instrument and don't need an explanation of what 6-8 is. Have any of you learnt with this method, please tell me about it because I'm very curious. Then I'll ongeveer halverwege door, thank you. I've heard a lot of you talking about it and I find it very charming. It's the trap family recorder method. I'm always a fan of any family where everyone plays the recorder. Anyway, book two is concentrating on the alto sopranino or bass. Um, so book one is than the soprano and tenor. And yes, finally, we have a comprehensive demonstration of how to hold the recorder, how to blow, rhythm. This is so important, we can't just always jump into the notes. So if you are learning completely on your own, I can recommend this one. I'm pretty strict with my students in counting. I feel like if you have a good basis in rhythm, you can play anything. So here it teaches you to count right from the very start. Then we have some duets with a teacher. If you don't have a teacher, then you just have to learn your own. Of course, the material is quite old fashioned. It's a lot of kind of early music, hymns, folk songs. By the end of the book, we actually have some pretty complex stuff. Okay, and we also have a fingering chart for trills and ornaments and how to play them. Very nice von Trapp family, ranges of the recorder family and how they're written. And they also say a statement very dear to my heart. The more time and trouble you take with difficult fingerings or passages, the faster your progress will be. Okay, the more I look through this, the more enthusiastic I am about the Trap family 
record a method. Yeah. It's slightly old fashioned, but in terms of what it teaches you, this is so comprehensive. I would definitely recommend this. If you are looking to get more into the Baroque style of playing, this book is excellent. It is in German. Uh, I'm gonna look up if there is an English version. The answer is here. This is Alt Blockflöten Schule by Barbara Hintermeyer and Birgit Bauder. Again, this kind of assumes that you already have some experience with music because it teaches you the notes by notes, but nothing about music theory, rhythm, time signatures, blah, blah, blah. But what it does give is a really, really comprehensive background into early music and how to play this. For example, by the new note F, we have a little example of what a facsimile looks like. In How to Hold the Recorder, we already see some hot air and this is gonna test my knowledge and before we learn the B, we have a little bit about Baroque dance. Some dude just relaxing with his recorder over here. Yeah. <gasps> this makes me so happy to see all different types of recorder. This book is very, very up to date. I really hope this comes in some other languages too. I'm kind of gradually finding that a lot of these methods are in German. I understand in Germany there's a lot of recorder players, but please start translating it for the rest of us. So early music players that understand German, I recommend this a lot. Going back to England, we have Enjoy the Recorder by Brian Bonser. This one begins with um, the best way to learn any instrument is to have lessons from a good experienced teacher but some people may not be able to find a teacher and this series of books sets out to help learners of all ages in all situations so if you can't find a teacher this can help you what I really like is it has a lot of very clear illustrations about the recorder about how to take care of it about how to hold it and how to sit. This is something I see very rarely. It shows you how to actually grip the notes. A lot of books just show this kind of diagram where you have to kind of figure it out for yourself but here you can actually see what you're meant to be doing and if you don't have a teacher something like this, this little step in between can be so helpful and it also teaches you how to read music, how to read rhythm and it really builds up step by step. <laughs> Everyone loves this picture. Again, the material tends to be more early music. Oh, <laughs> at the end of the book, we have five concert pieces composed by Brian Bonser. The last one, for example, is called Rush Hour. This is only book one, and look how much value for money you get. This is a thick book. So for somebody starting from scratch without a teacher, this could be a great book for you. I've used these books before with a student. If you have somebody who already has experience with music but just wants a lot, a lot of pieces to play step by step, then I could recommend this. These are the Altblockflöte, the Alto Recorder by Johannes Bormann. It does give a short introduction to rhythm, this handy table here, but I feel like it's more of a reminder. The thing I do like about these books is everything is a duet. If you can already play the piano, it could be really great to play both hands and work out the harmony, get it into your ear. And if you're working with a teacher, then it gives you a lot of material to play together. This is really good for developing your sense of rhythm. Again, we have some background information. And by the time we get to the end of book three, we have quite complicated music. We have, for example, a Vivace movement from Telemann. We have some so again, it's really concentrating on early music, but if you want a lot of pieces to get your teeth into, then I can recommend these three books. Okay, say you're in the same position. You already have an understanding of music, maybe you play a different instrument, you want a lot of pieces to get your teeth into, but you're not so interested in early music. Then we have the Dutch series Musicale Frutellinger, kind of means musical stories and here we have 50 pieces with CD accompaniment and 37 pieces. The thing I like about these books is that they really relate the music to emotions and to feelings. They are stories after all. On the first page we immediately have a piece called Regret. And there is some music theory here. For example we have a short explanation of the different rests it teaches you note by note, but it goes for my feeling a bit too fast to be a method right from the very beginning if you're on your own. With the CD accompaniment, it's really nice. Who's a Gala for Dellinger? Two more. 
When I teach the soprano recorder to children here in the Netherlands, I use a method called Ik en mijn blokfluit, me and my recorder. And this is great, comes in four volumes, that's for another video though. I didn't know this, <laughs> that they actually also have um, an auto recorder method following on from the soprano recorder one. That comes in three volumes. All of these books come with a workbook and here it says thinking about things and using your imagination. So it's really nice to get into the kind of the whole imagination side of music, not only technique. And here there are lots of kind of fun exercises to do. We have a lot of different styles of music. Uh, for example, it really helps you to get into more kind of contemporary notations in an accessible way, linking it to a story, to things that you hear. It comes with a nice mix of playing solo, duets, trios and quartets. One thing, it is in Dutch. So I'm aware I'm speaking to a small portion of my audience right now. But als je Nederlands bent and you find it leuk om heel veel dingen te doen en te fantaseren als je gaat spelen, dan kan ik dit echt aanraden. Last book. I debated showing this book because, again, I think it's only in German, but I love the material in here so much that I just have to show it. It's Die Altblockflöte, the Alto Recorder by Manfredo Zimmermann. This says book one, so I assume there is a book two. Yes, there is. It says so on the back. So from the start, we have something I think is fantastic. The student plays a long note of eight beats while the teacher plays a melody. This makes the student listen. And already from lesson two, we have a section on tuning. Oh, page 11, we have 16th notes already. Okay. The thing I love about this book is the sheer variety of music. We get into um, some nice contemporary stuff, next to folk duets, next to early music. The material does move very fast in terms of difficulty, in terms of complexity. So this could be better for people who are moving from another instrument. But look at this. Oh, these are so cool, these breathing exercises. I love this. So these are all about your breath pressure, learning crescendos, decrescendos, different vibratos. This is so much fun. And this says, how could the following pictures sound? I really like this approach to music. So that was 15 different methods from the Alto Recorder that you can try. Everybody will be looking for something different. If you have heard something today in this list that you like, look in the description below and everything is able to be ordered from the Brookman and from Popol website and they do ship overseas. The second hand music. Do not come in here if you are trying to save money. I hope you enjoy my video on um, recorded methods for adult beginners. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. It was quite a funny experience filming my first video in public, but I found out very quickly that the kind of embarrassment soon goes away. And I even found myself standing there with a CD next to my face and the, another guy working in the shop that didn't know I was there was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm trying to face swap with Eric Bosscraft. <laughs> As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking my recorder. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!